गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई पूर्णिमा वेलकम यू टू द क्लास एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द थ्री स्टोरी रिटर्न बाय रस्किन बॉन्ड ना रस्किन बॉन्ड इज अ फेमस इंडियन राइटर इन इंग्लिश एंड चिल्ड्रन ही वॉज बॉर्न ऑन नाइनटीन मे नाइनटीन थर्टी फोर हिज फादर वॉज ए ब्रिटिश फादर एंड ही वॉज वर्किंग इन ए रॉयल एयरफोर्स रस्किन स्टार्टेड लिविंग इन ग्रैंड विथ हिज ग्रैंड मदर इन देहरादून up to his father death in 1944 he spent 4 years in london where he started writing his first novel so children the room on the roof was his first novel and later on he had written many uh, short story and children masuri um, he is still uh, lives in landor masuri's ivy cottage which is a very famous cottage uh, since 1964 <coughs> so children and uh, here is a um, some important point of the story i would uh, like to discuss okay that uh, there are two important characters here one is anil and the other is um, hari singh uh, who is the narrator also and his age is only 15 year hari singh is of 25 years old and narrator was a thief although only 15 he was experienced and successful as a thief or he was successful successful in his work luck was against him and he thought of targeting anil a young man of 25 years so um, let me start with the uh, children summary uh, or you can see the background so for children he had a meeting with anil the narrator of the thief story is a thief and i told you he is hari singh of 15 years of age and when he met anil he was uh, very young a writer of about 25 years anil was a writer and he was his age was 25 years anil was a tall lean and thin fellow he looked easy going kind and simple enough for the purpose of a thief like the narrator the thief had had much luck of late he wanted to win anil's confidence the narrator took a new name every month because chilen he was a thief and he met anil at a um, while seeing the wrestler match and he thought chilen he will rob him this time and every time chilen the narrator hari singh took a new names because he had a fear that um, their employer will complain to the police and he will be caught so he did so to avoid arrest from the police and his former employees recently he introduced himself as hari singh so this time he introduced to ravi as hari singh now he came to him and he told anil when they met in a by seeing the wrestling uh, match so he told he wanted to work for anil but anil was not a rich man anil told that he is not a very rich man he could not pay him the narrator thought for a moment that he has misjudged his target anil asked hari singh the thief if he could cook hari lied to him he told i can cook so he told him um, that you can stay in my house and you can cook for myself of you for you and uh, for you and for me we both uh, you can cook for both of us hari singh lied that he could cook the food which he cooked on the very first day was quite terrible and um, anil without scolding him he had given all the food to the stray dog anil asked him to go away but the narrator did not budge from there because he did not have any relation any friends anywhere to go at last anil agreed to teach him cooking anil also taught hari singh the thief to write his name this is very important to write his name and to write whole sentence at to add numbers hari singh grateful for getting education hari singh wanted to be educated and children he is really uh, grateful that um, since his parents died nobody was looking after him nobody has told and took an initiative to educate him so he was actually grateful for getting education and he um, at least anil had given him the basic education 
He knew that once he could write like an educated man, there would be no limit to what he could achieve. Hari Singh found it quite pleasant to work with Anil. He meeting in the morning. He made a profit of one rupees from buying the day's supplies. Anil knew everything about Hari Singh stealing, but he did not seem to mind it. No irregular income of Anil. Anil had no regular in, uh, income. He made money by fits and start. He seemed to write for magazine. The day he got the money, he would go out and celebrate, maybe by eating something in the restaurant or by uh, seeing the movie. This is not written here, actually. Then he would wait and worry about his next check. Anil robbed of his money. One evening, Anil came home with a small bundle of notes. He had just sold a book to a publisher at night. Hari uh, Singh saw him tuck the money under the mattress. Anil had given him a key to the door and he could come and go as he pleased. Anil was the most trusting person he had ever met. It was very difficult to rob him. Sometimes he did not notice that he had been robbed. It took all the pleasure out of Hari Singh's work. Once Anil was asleep, Hari Singh thought over his situation. If he stole the money, he could catch the 1030 express to Lucknow. He crept up to the bed and slid his hand under his mattress. He found the note and drew them out. Anil sighed in his sleep. He turned his side towards Hari Singh. The thief was startled and quickly came out of the room. On the road, he counted them. They were 600 rupees in 50s. With that money, he could live like a, a rich Arab for a week or two. Hari Singh's dilemma. Now the narrator, the thief reached to the st station and dashed straight to the platform. And children, he thought, a guilt. suddenly children, a thought struck to his mind. He started feeling guilty, conscious that the man who had so much trust on him, he had stolen from that man the money, uh, rupees 600. And now he would be helpless without any money because he had nowhere to go to ask for the money. And children, he could not jump in the express. He hesit hesitated. When the train had gone, he had no idea where to spend the ni night. He had no friends and did not want to stay at one of the hotels. The only person he knew was Anil whom he had robbed. He came to the madam and sat on a bench. The night was chilly and it had a light drizzle. The notes were damp from the rain. Hari Singh back to Anil with his money. Hari Singh remembered that he had forgotten about his education in the excitement of the theft. He knew that education could one day bring him more than a few hundred rupees. To be a really a big man, a clever and respected man, he was to learn reading and writing. He was to be educated. He hurried back to Anil's room, very nervous. He crept to the head of the bed. He held the notes in one hand and slipped them quietly under the mattress. Next morning, Anil stretched out his hand towards the narrator. There was a 50 rupee note between his finger, Hari Singh's heart sank. He thought that he had been discovered. Anil made an announcement. He told Hari Singh that he made some money and Hari would be paid regularly. He also told that he would teach Hari Singh how to write sentences. Anil knew everything about the theft, but neither his lip nor his eyes showed anything. And our children, He was full of guilty conscience. So, children, uh, what happened at the last? Let's uh, see. Okay. So, now, children, I'm going to read the text. Open your books at page number 8, The Thief Story. Okay. So, now we are going to do the lesson, The Thief Story. Yeah, a young man make friends with Anil. Anil trusts him completely. 
and employs him. Does the boy betray his trust? So children, let's see. I was still a thief when I met Anil. So children, here I refers to Hari, thing, Hari, Hari Singh. Okay. And he is also the narrator. So you can write Hai, I refers to the narrator who is Hari Singh, a boy of 15 years old and he is a thief. So what you will write for I? I is, uh, refers to uh, the narrator Hari Singh who is a boy of 15 years and he is a thief. I was still a thief. It still means yet. When I met Anil and though only 15, he was only 15 years old, I was an experienced and fairly successful hand. Experience means having the knowledge or skill. Having the knowledge or skill. And fairly successful hand. That means have achieved what you where where what you wanted have achieved whatever you wanted so he was 15 years old and children he was a very skilled thief whatever he wanted to steal he used to do so anil was watching a wrestling match when i approached okay near him so what anil was doing he was watching a wrestling when, uh, match when the when the narrator approached to him meaning of approached when near him so one day when he was watching the match um, he went near him and he told he and uh, he was about 25 children then he looked at Anil he was uh, only 25 years old um, a tall lean fellow and he looked easy going so he was a tall lean fellow looked easy going kind and simple enough for my purpose he seems to be kind-hearted and simple enough for my purpose that means he could easily steal the thing or he could easily rob i hadn't had much luck of late and thought i hadn't had much luck of late and thought here yeah, late may uh, much luck of late and thought i might be able to get into the young man's confidence confidence means trust So children, he thought that he would um, gain confidence of the young man that is Anil. And he went to him, he started talking. Who? Hari Singh, the narrator, went to Anil because he wanted to rob him because Anil seems to be a very simple person to him. You look a bit of wrestler yourself. Now, see how nicely he's talking, he's telling you look a bit of a wrestler yourself. I said, a little flattery helps in making friend. A little flattery means false praise. So do you, he replied, which put me off for a moment because at that time I was rather thin. So children, he also told that you also look um, a bit of rest of yourself. Well, I said modestly. Modestly means humbly. Modesty means humbly. So he told humbly, I do rest her a bit. What's your name? Hari Singh. I lied. I took a new name everyone. Now children, he told Hari Singh, though his name was something else. So he was lying to him. Uh, 
he told Hari Singh, I lied, I took a new name every month. So children, every month he uh, took a new name. Why? Because he knew that uh, if uh, he will drop anyone, he would complain to the police and the police will be after his life. Now, I lied. I took a new few new names every month. Dad kept me ahead of the police and my former ally. And due to his change of name, he used to feel that will keep me ahead of the police and my former employees. After this introduction, Ali talked about the world oil trust. Now, children, a general chat started between them. Ali started. Uh, Anil started talking about the well oil wrestler who were grunting. Grunting means roaring. Who were grunting? Who were roaring? Lifting and throwing each other about. They were lifting and they were throwing each other. I did not have much to say. Anil walked away. I followed casually. Now children, the match was over. Anil got up and he walked. Even Anil, um, this the narrator also followed him casually. Casually means Purposelessly. So casually we are made purposelessly. Hello again, he said. I gave him my most appealing smile. So children, appealing here means attracting. I give him my most appealing smile. I want to work for you, I said, but I can't pay you. So he gave him his most uh, attracting smile. He told, I would like to work for you, but he told that uh, I uh, can't pay you, even if you want to work, but I don't have enough uh, money to pay to you. I thought that over for a minute. Perhaps I had misjudged my man. man. Misjudged my man, children. He was wrong. Um, he thought he came to see the wrestling match. Anil came to see the wrestling match. So he must be having a lot of money. So he is telling, perhaps I had misjudged my man. Can you feed me? So he told, can you feed me? Can you give me some food today? Can you cook? He told, can you cook? I can cook. I lied again. So children, he told the lie. He told, yes, I can cook. So the narrator, Hari Singh, told lie. He told him that I can cook. Why he told? Because he had nowhere to go, no place to go, no friend, nowhere, nothing. <clears throat> if you can cook, then maybe I can feed you. So nice word came of which he was waiting. He told, if you can cook, I can feed you. He took me to his room over the Jamuna Swiss shop and told me I could sleep on the balcony. So he took to his room. That room was over the Jamuna Swiss shop and he told me I could sleep on the balcony. He told he can, if you want, you can sleep there in the balcony. But the meal I could that night must have been terrible. Now children, he told a lie. He was not knowing how to cook the meal. So the meal which he cooked that day, it was very terrible, not very tasty because children, Anil gave it to a stray dog and told me to off. Now children, Anil felt very bad. Anil did not scold at him, but he told you can go now because you don't know how to cook. And um, But I just hung around smiling in my most appealing way. But children, that boy, he was very clever. He started smiling in my most appealing, appealing, I told you, attracting. And he could not help laughing. And he, when he could not help laughing. 
later he patted me on the head and said never mind he would teach me to cook now children even um, he was a kind hearted person he patted to him and he told him uh, never mind and he would teach me to cook he also taught me to write my name and said he would soon teach me to write whole sentence now children he started teaching him he uh, told him uh, he taught him to how to write his name and he told very soon i will be uh, teaching you and you can uh, i will tell you how to write the whole sentences and to them add numbers i was grateful i knew that once i could write like an educated man there would be no limit to what i could achieve now children actually children he was a orphan he did not have a parent and um, he wanted that somebody should teach him till now nobody had taken initiative it was anil who had taken initiative to teach him and he was very grateful to him it was quite pleasant working for anil i made the tea in the morning and then would take my time by the day supplies now children he is telling his routine hari singh is telling about uh, his routine um, what he is to do so i made the tea in the morning he is to make the tea in the morning and then would take my time by the day supplies and after that he used to go to the market to buy some day supplies usually making a profit about a rupee a day and children he used to make profit of a rupee um, okay and uh, profit of a rupee and um, uh, i think he knew i made a little money this was what he did not seem to mind but children he felt um, hari singh felt that um, anil knew everything that he is is stealing one rupees every day he is making a profit of one rupees every day but he did not said anything to him Anil met money by fits and starts. So, children, Anil he started making money by fits and fits and start meant not regularly, casually. So, fit and start. Not. regularly but but casually so children anil knew very much about him uh, he knew that he is uh, making money by fits and start it means not regularly but casually he is to steal um, he would borrow one week lend the next now children anil made money by fits and starts so when hari singh started uh, uh, noticing um, anil he came to know and he knew that he is making money by fits and it started means not regularly but casually he would borrow one week lend the next why how do you he knew that he is not having enough money because one week he would borrow the money the next week when he will get the check he would return the money he kept worrying about his next check then children he was worrying about his worried about his next next check but as soon as it arrived he would go out and celebrate it as soon as it arrived he would go out and celebrate it it seems he wrote for magazine a queer way to make a living so he wrote for magazine finally children hari singh came to know that he is writing in a magazine and he felt what a queer way of making a living queer means strange what is queer way of making the money so he is thinking uh he hadn't seen a person making money like that so he is thinking what a cure way to make a money like that one evening he came home with a small bundle of notes so natural one day um, hari singh watched 
that he came one evening with a small bundle of notes saying he had just sold a book to a publisher and what did he said he said that he had sold a book to a publisher at night i saw him tuck the money under the mattress tuck means fold he tuck the money he folded the rupees and he kept under the mat mattresses tuck means fold he fold those money in a very proper manner and children he kept inside the mattress i had been working for anil for almost a month and our children he was with anil almost a month and apart from cheating on the shopping had not done anything in my line of work he was only stealing one or two rupees when he used to go for uh, shopping children until now he had not done anything in my line of work in my line of work that means he was a thief and his line of work was to steal So till now he had not stolen any money. He was only taking one or two rupees note. Okay, so I had been working for Anil for almost a month, and apart from cheating on the shopping, had not done anything in my life of work. Had even opportunity for doing so. Anil had given me a key to the door, and I could come and go as I please. Now, children, he had a nice opportunity also. because children the key was handed over uh, to him by anil he could uh, children uh, he can go any time he could come any time so this was the biggest opportunity but uh, so he told him whenever you want to go and you want to come you are pleased to do so he was the most trusting person i'd ever met now children apart from that children till now nobody had trusted him so much it was anil who had uh, trusted him very much <clears throat> and that is why it was difficult to rob him and children it was very difficult to rob him so it is easy to rob a greedy man because he can afford to be robbed now children he is telling the person who had so much trust that he had even given him the key and apart of that he is educating him so it is very difficult to rob such man it is very easy to so he's telling it is very difficult to rob such man it is easy to rob greedy man because he can afford to be robbed but it is difficult to rob a careless man sometimes he doesn't even notice he has been robbed so he's telling it is easy to rob a it is easy to rob a greedy man but very difficult to rob a careless man because <coughs> he doesn't even notice that he has been robbed and that takes all the pressure out of the work and children when it's time i did some real work i told myself i am out of practice and if i don't take the money he will only waste it on his bread now children when something now some wrong bad thought started coming to hari singh mind uh, he started telling uh, one thing he started telling that uh, that um, now i think it is time for me to do my work what was his work his work was stealing so he is telling now it is his time to do his work i am out of practice and stealing since long i have not done any stealing i have been out of practice and if i don't take the money he will only waste it on his friend he told that if he will not steal the money he would simply waste it on his friend after all he doesn't even need me and moreover he is taking my help i'm cooking every day and he is not even paying me so children this type of thoughts come to hari singh um, he is determined to uh, rob him he is ready to rob anil he is thinking that now is the time i would surely rob so children with this i end the first part of the video in my next video i will continue the rest of the story thank you and have a nice day ahead so now children this is the end of first part uh, once again uh, i would like to say 
uh, and before ending the video one thing i do i've concluded my video but i would like to say one thing i would like to ask you one thing uh, do you think people like anil and hari singh are found only in fiction or there are such people in real life so what do you have to say to them if i have to give the answer so i would tell it takes all sort of people to make this world there are many types of people who are there in this world okay yes and there are people like hari singh also and there are people like anil also uh, you may find a thief like hari singh who realizes the value of education he forgets about education during the heat and excitement of theft later on realizing the value of education he comes back to anil anil is a large hearted and compassionate person he wanted to educate hari singh and pay him regular regularly he remember children when he came back he next day he handed him 50 rupees and he told that he would be paying some money to him and he also um, though uh, the narrator realizes that he is aware that what he had done the previous night so he is very grateful to anil so children now my video is completed thank you and have a nice day ahead